I'm standing in a field that's a first year establishment. This is very typical for what they look like. This was an old pasture. They sprayed it out. Looks like we had a lot of ragweed seed in the soil. It could be ragweed, it could be foxtail, it could be clover, it could be a lot of things. This particular field has ragweed in it. And our little seedlings are down there. They range from a foot tall to just a couple inches tall. And we've decided in earlier that this field had enough canopy coverage it needed mowed. When I looked down from the top, I couldn't see 15 to 20% of the ground, meaning it had 80 to 85% canopy coverage on it. So it's always hard to know whether to mow your planting or not. We kind of talked about canopy coverage and why we're doing this one. I think that in general, this would succeed. It may take it another year to get well established by not reducing the canopy, but you can have enough canopy coverage to actually lose your stand. This I think is just a beneficial mowing for our native plants, but by no means do I think he'd lose his stand due to the canopy coverage. He's off to a great start, did his chemical control well early. If it gets much worse, particularly clovers and things like that, you can actually smother your seedlings out, especially the forbs and stuff that don't grow much that first year. So we've decided to mow it and I'm using my preferred method, which is a sickle mower. And we made the first pass around this field and it just leans, chops those plants right over. You can tell that on my mower height, I'm setting about 10 inches to a foot. And so we're actually taking off just a few of the leaf ends of some of our rise. You can see this one's been cut off. He still has three leaves. He's plenty good to support himself. I've got a lot of opening now. When I look down, I can see the ground almost 60, 70%. There's not much canopy coverage at all. This dead, the stuff that we cut off, you can see it's starting to wilt already. And another day or two, it'll be black and it'll just go to the ground and shrivel up to nothing and really open that canopy up. So some tips whenever you're doing this, uh, you seen him blowing that sickle mower off. The reason for that, he just come through a fescue field with seed on the heads to get here. Uh, it could be fescue, it could be another thing you don't want in your planting. Blow your equipment off. This field is as clean as it's gonna get. This is a diverse native grassland that he's planted forbs and cool seasons and warm seasons in. There's no chemical approach from here on out unless it's done by hand. So take that extra time to clean up your equipment, especially if you're borrowing it from a neighbor, you don't know what it was used on last, clean up that equipment. Have a machine that's easily adjustable of height. We do want to maintain enough height to go over the top of our plants, but we also need enough control to not be four inches too tall and leave a lot of the ragweed canopy. See this one here just barely got missed by the mower. He's got way more canopy left than these that got cut off at the right height. So it's a combination of being low enough for your specific weed to really reduce canopy and being high enough to go over the top of your crop. The other thing is try to pick things that your equipment wise that don't have a lot of tires and leave a great big footprint on the ground because every plant you run over today while you're doing your control, it doesn't benefit that plant, only the ones that you reduce the canopy without running them over. Doing a mowing too early, the plant, the weeds a lot of times will rebound and recover really quickly, forcing you to do more mowing, which is more tire impact on the planting. Uh, so to wait as long as you can to where you think you're actually starting to have damage, getting out there too early a lot of times won't really change anything. A lot of times with annual weeds, which is what we encounter most of the time in the first year planting, is annual weeds. Uh, ragweed's a great example. If you'll wait on this ragweed, here's one starting to head out. If you'll wait until it is actually pollinating mid-pollination, which would probably happen in two weeks. If we waited till then to mow, this ragweed would not grow back. Being an annual, once it thinks it's made seed, it actually starts to die. Even while it's still developing its seed in the head, the plant itself starts to die down. If you cut it off at that time, you can stop it from making seed, but it's far enough along the plant doesn't rebloom and try again. If you can go with a sickle mower, that's my preferred method because you don't get near as much disturbance to your seedlings as you do with other mowing methods. This was Colt Hamilton with Hamilton Native Outpost. Uh, feel free to check out our website or YouTube for 
more establishment guides and tips.